So in today's project, this is my 2016 Jeep Rubicon. And I changed the name of it to match the accent of the vehicle. I have the factory rims and what I plan on doing is painting them blue. I'm gonna replace them eventually, but for now, I'm gonna paint it blue. Also this tweak here, I've added the lit door sills and the interior dash lighting, which is very simple to do. If you would like a tutorial on how to do it, I could probably post it into it, but I'm going to paint these wheels blue, so let's get to it. This is the before, at least the driver's side. The first thing I'm doing is taping it up uh, and grab this 3M brush to, after you clean it with soap and water to get the grease out, you scuff it up a little bit so the paint can adhere to it. I'm gonna probably do about two or three coats and then clear coat it for two or three coats. But this is the process so far. Uh, I put five coats of clear on it and it seems to have come out pretty good. It is a darker blue and stupid drips that did show up on it. But this is the spare tire one to work on that first. So we'll see. So here is now with the tape off and I do have some spills that did come out. So now I'm gonna have to take that off with acetone. But I should be able to get that out okay. That's how it looks now. Okay, so what saved a lot of time here was being able to reuse the tire cover. And this time I covered the entire tire because I got some paint on the exterior wall. I'll take it off with acetone, but you might just want to save yourself the trouble. I don't have the best painting skills in the world, but this is how I've been doing it. Back and forth in the star pattern of the wheel. So I'd go that way, and then I would go this way and then so on and so forth to each side of the wheel, getting it the same direction in every way. And then I'll wait for this to dry and then I'll put the clear coats on. The tape, if I found out that if obviously you, after you paint it, if you tape over it again, it stays as a pretty good cast to reuse for the additional wheels that you gotta do. This is wheel three and uh, you have to scuff it up pretty good so that the, once again, the paint's gonna adhere to it, get all the dust off it. And I'm gonna put my cast on it again. All right, so what do we have now? We are complete. And these are not gonna be my permanent wheels. Um, I intend to get better rims next year. So I didn't prime primer these wheels. If you use a white or gray primer, then you would actually get the factory color to match. As you can see, painting this on dark, came out as a darker blue, but initially this blue is supposed to be the exact factory color. This is still not a bad finish or not a bad look. Actually, I don't mind it at all, really. But if you are interested in matching your exact factory paint, once you get the color code from the dealer, you could find many third parties who produce the factory color. This one I purchased on Amazon. 